as you speak with corporate leaders, another thing that you're trying to do, I guess, is to interest them at the intersection of business and development, have them sort of mainstream good things that they do in the communities that they work in, uh, and not just make a pretty penny. So what are the barriers there to get these companies to really understand that you can actually be profitable and do good at the same time? Yeah, I think corporations struggle with that because um, you know they're first and foremost kind of answerable to their shareholders. Mm -hmm. So that um, financial bottom line is important. But I, I do see companies starting to acknowledge and understand where development work and public-private partnerships and um, you know things that they can be doing from the corporation can help their bottom line. And it's just a matter of shifting their messaging and shifting their thinking around. You know, for instance, in the, in the financial services industry, talking about financial inclusion as opposed to corporate social responsibility. Um, if you're looking at um, education or uh, electrifying a country, thinking about what that impact is going to be, and talk about the fact that. If you can electrify a country, that might help children read at night. So it's it's you know there's a bottom line perspective for companies, but there's also that kind of impact, that social impact that's going to be derived that will really help the company at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And we often hear when we talk about business and development that it's the right thing to do, and also it's good for staff retention. But at the end of the day. The company really wants to make money and obviously expand and grow, explore new markets. So how big of an argument is it really with these CEOs that you speak with that, you oh, this to, will yeah. help retention? You need to understand and kind of start to focus on impact measurement. Um, thought something that IGD is really focusing on for its member companies. Thinking through how do you quantify the shift and the change that is happening as a result of the development work that we've done. So there's no certain formula for mm -hmm. that. You need to really think through, is it from an agricultural perspective or is it from, you know, I'm just thinking in terms of technology, you know, how do you measure that or how do you quantify it? Um, there's, no, there's no one kind of shot answer for that. But each company that's looking for a specific result will come up with its impact measurement or its way of deriving that success. Mm -hmm. And do these companies have that expertise in-house to figure this out? Or is that a whole new sort of job description for folks that want to help these companies? I think you're right. The, the companies don't always um, have that in-house and haven't thought about it in terms of you know, building out a division. And maybe that's an area where IGD can be helpful to, um, to companies. You know, we've spent the last 10 years building a network of CEOs trying to educate them around just what networking means and, and getting to know each other. I think we'll spend the next 10 years really trying to leverage that network and, and trying to educate um, the executives, the women executives, around how they can leverage that expertise and those relationships into a bottom line success. Mm -hmm. And you talk about the next 10 years. Obviously, one thing that is big right now is the debate about a global development agenda post-2015 when the Millennium Development Goals mm -hmm. uh, end. What do you think should be the the factor that businesses play in that agenda and, uh, and, and are they having enough impact right now in, in shaping that debate? That's a tough question um, because I think each industry kind of looks at it a little differently and, and within those industries each company should and, and does look at it differently. Um, clearly, you know, there's a post-2015 kind of um, look at things where IGD, I hope, can play a role is helping companies between now and then understand the opportunities and then kind of take them to the next level. Mm -hmm.